Hey guys, it's Tyler from Stock Scores. The computer system that you see here behind me is what I use to day trade the stock market. In this video, I'm going to show you how it all works, why it is set up the way it is, and give you some insight into maybe how you can set up your own trading system. Alright, so before we get started on this video about my computer system, a reminder that we have upcoming events on the StockScores.com website. Just go to Trader Training, select Upcoming Events, and you can register for one of the free webinars that we offer from time to time. Alright, let's get into the computer system that I have and, and why I have set it up this way. Let me begin with just a reference to another recent video that I did. Uh, which you can see on the StockScores.com YouTube channel, and it's all about the unboxing of the new computer system that I bought about a week ago. That computer system was bought from Easy Trading Computers. I highly recommend them. They were uh, great in dealing with. They provided great service. The computer was shipped out real fast, and it's the kind of system that I wanted, a uh, really designed for day trading. My approach to the market is primarily to be fairly active. I'm a day trader, swing trader. I use this system for a lot of different trading, but the primary focus for how I set up the computer was for day trading. Now, you see a lot of screens in behind me. There's actually two computers running, and they actually run together, and I'll explain a little bit more about how I did that in a moment. Let's first begin with the configuration of the new computer that I bought, and I'll, I'll link in the description the actual specs of that computer, and there's also a, a handy uh, research guide on how to buy a trading computer that was provided by easy trading computers, you can check that out. Pretty insightful uh, information on, on how to configure the computer based on your needs. So my needs really cater to the fact that I use TradeStation. I wanted a computer that was fast. I monitor a lot of symbols. I try to max out the number of symbols that I can monitor with TradeStation. And so I needed a computer that was quick. Now, TradeStation only allows for the use of 16 cores. So if you, you know, nowadays you can go out and buy machines that have 12, 14 cores, perhaps even more. You don't need that for uh, day trading with TradeStation. And so I maxed my system out at eight cores, which is the equivalent of 16 because of uh, the multi um, nature of those chips. So my computer, eight core machine, it's an Intel i7-79, or pardon me, 7820 uh, chip. It has uh, liquid cooling, a uh, 32 gigs of RAM, uh, and most importantly, I would say a solid state drive. It is what's called a M.2 PCI Express drive. What that means is it's the fastest memory uh, available for that, that access of your trading data. When you are um, using a hard drive, for example, one that spins, the access to the market data is slow, so it takes longer for your trading software to calculate the indicators. And so it was important to me to have that solid state drive. Uh, both my old trading computer and my new one have it. My old one has an older generation of a solid state drive. This new M.2 um, type is much faster and it really makes a difference when you're pulling in a lot of market data to calculate the indicators quickly. And that's important for me because I monitor a lot of symbols. Now the monitors that you see, I've got two 40 inch Philips uh, 4K screens. Just a quick thought about 4K screens. When you have a 4K screen, essentially it's four times as many pixels as a HD screen. So when you go into your computer store, most of the screens there are gonna be high definition. Some are UHD, a little wider perhaps. But a 4K screen is the equivalent of four HD screens. So in the past, I used eight HD screens on stands now I get the same amount of viewing space from two 4K monitors. And so it makes it a lot more efficient. It's a lot nicer to move around on a screen that doesn't have the lines in it from the, you know, the four, four individual screens, obviously having some separation. And so it's a nice uh, thing to look at. Now, another thing that I want to emphasize is the video card. When I first got this computer, it had a NVIDIA 1050 video card. And we were having some trouble with it not being able to power my two 4K screens at 60 hertz, which is the refresh rate. It would only do one of them at 30 hertz. And it wasn't really the problem of the, the video card, but it was the fact that it didn't have enough 
display port outputs because these particular screens need a display port input in order to run at 60 hertz. So um, easy trading computers where I bought the machine, they were great. They said, well, we'll swap out that card. I sent the old one back. They sent me a new one. They actually sent me the new one first and I'm gonna send the old one back today. And as soon as I got that new video card installed to solve that problem, I'm now able to watch those two 4K screens at 60 hertz. In addition to the two HD screens that you see over there, the smaller ones are also at 60 hertz refresh rate. You really notice it when you're moving your mouse around in terms of being able to be very purposeful and where you click on the screen. It's a lot easier with that 60 hertz refresh rate. The other thing that I really notice is the blacks are deeper. It's a lot nicer screen to look at when you can get that 60 hertz refresh rate. Okay, so a couple things then, just to summarize. I've got a machine with eight cores, which really runs like 16 cores, which is the maximum amount that TradeStation will use. It has uh, 32 gigs of RAM. Now TradeStation itself only uses four gigs of RAM and I rarely use more than, like when all the, all the software that I'm using, rarely does it get above 16 gigs of RAM. Probably you can get away with running 16 gigs of RAM, but I do some video editing and so I went for 32 gigs just to have that extra space to do more complex things when I'm running a lot of programs. Um, it has the uh, video card that has outputs on the back for four, actually five screens, I believe five, maybe four, but they're also uh, display port and HD outputs so that I can run those screens at 4K 60 hertz. If you don't want to have those screens, then you can get a different video card, but if you want to run uh, bigger screens at higher refresh rates, higher resolution, then go for that better video card. It makes a big difference. The monitors that I have, as I said, are two Philips 40 inch monitors, and then I've got two Acer HD monitors. And I'll list all that in the description so that you can see the details. So how do I use TradeStation? Well, I'm calculating my own indicators. I use something called an action candle, which is my own indicator. It's something that I teach people in my day trading courses. And it's something that I've programmed into TradeStation. And it is a indicator that really helps me find fast moving stocks very early. Usually in the first two minutes of their move, I can identify them. And what's running right now behind me, it's, it's actually the market's open right now and you see lots of blinking going on. That's calculating those indicators in real time. Now this screen over here, if you watch it closely, every once in a while, every minute actually, you will see a macro run that goes out, grabs new market data, pastes it into a, what's called a radar screen in TradeStation and it calculates my indicators. And it does that constantly throughout the day so that I don't miss new stocks that are starting to move. I want to catch them before everyone else does. And this technology setup allows me to do that. Now, this couple screens right here are actually a second computer from this one. And I do that because I want to monitor a lot of symbols. TradeStation has a limit of 1,000 symbols that you can monitor at any one time. And for most people, that's more than enough. However, because I want to really capture most of the market and because I run a webinar through the day where people can see my algorithm pick the stocks that are moving early in their trend, I needed that second machine. So that presented a problem. How do I get these two computers to talk to one another or at least to be able to use them without having multiple mice on the, on the desk? I do have multiple mice on the desk, but I also have it set up so that this screen here, I can just move my mouse across from one computer to another using a little program called Mouse Without Borders. It's a free program that you can download from Microsoft and it allows you to control multiple computers as long as they're on the same network from one mouse and one keyboard. And so I don't have to constantly be switching between mice and keyboard and that sort of thing. And that's a real help. Uh, nice little program, absolutely free. Just Google Mouse Without Borders and it'll take you to the Microsoft website where you can download that little app for free. And that's a big help in terms of having multiple computers. Now, if you don't have more than one computer in your network, you don't want to control them with one mouse, you don't need it. It's just uh, something that I like to use. I also have my brokerage platform over on this screen. And so I can keep an eye on my positions and what's going on. I have another chart that you can see there, which is another trade station window. And so I've got a lot of real estate in front of me. Now, people always ask me, right when they're early in their trading career, should I go out and buy a, one of these fancy trading computers? And I would say, a, a trading computer with all these screens isn't going to make you a better trader. You need to have knowledge, you need to have emotional control, discipline, focus, all those things that I've talked about in other videos. The screens and the processing power of the computer will make you more efficient. It'll make you 
better at executing and really it's your process to identify and execute trading opportunities that benefits. But when I travel, I travel with my laptop, I trade, I have a little bit of a setup for that, I'll show you that in a moment. And I can trade just as well from my laptop with, with you know, a relatively small amount of screen space, but it's more work. I have to you know, move around and do more work to execute my processes better. When I've got all these screens like you see behind me, it's just simpler and I don't have to do as much work because I can see everything in front of me, whereas on my laptop, I gotta switch back and forth. Now, on the matter of the laptop, I use a Dell XPS 15 uh, laptop. It has four cores, so it's essentially running as eight cores, and that's not quite the capacity for TradeStation, so it runs a little bit slower, not much though. But the main issue I have with this laptop, and really with any laptop, is cooling. When TradeStation is calculating indicators on a thousand different stocks at once, it's a lot of processing. And when I do that early in the trading day, like in the first five minutes, when there's lots of data coming down from the exchanges, you can really hear the fans on the laptop start to go and, and whir. And what happens is when the laptop gets too hot, the computer will scale back its processing power in order to protect itself so that it doesn't overheat and you really see that slowdown in performance when the computer's really working hard. I never have that problem with my new um, trading computer that I got uh, recently, or even my old one, because they have better cooling. Now my old computer, you might be able to hear a little bit of noise in the background, that's the fan noise from the old machine, it's just fans. The new machine has liquid cooling in addition to some fans and it's super quiet and I really like that. I used to actually put all my machines in a different room and then connect the, the monitors via very long cables because I hated the fan noise. Um, I can't do that in the current office configuration that I have so I really wanted a silent machine and that new machine is, uh, it makes no noise and, and I love that about it as well. So when I travel with my laptop, I do bring a little extra screen and this is a screen, they're really cheap. It's made by uh, Asus, there you see it. It's just a portable, it's super thin, fits in my uh, briefcase and it connects to my, um, to my laptop by a USB cable, charges it that way. You don't have to have power cables or anything else installed. And so when I travel, I've got my laptop screen and then that uh, second HD screen beside it. So essentially I've got two HD screens to look at. Now my laptop has actually got a 4K screen, but to run it at 4K without any zoom, the pixels get, uh, well, the pixels are so tiny that the font gets so tiny, it's a little bit hard to read. And so I don't run it at 4K in, well, I do, I guess, but it's, it's zoomed in so that it looks bigger. And it's essentially running like an HD screen in addition to that second HD screen that I have. Now, one of the nice things about that Dell laptop that I got is it's, a, it's possible to get a docking station that will run two 4K monitors off of the docking station as well. And so if you do want a portable computer and maybe you're not gonna look at as many symbols as I do, um, I think my situation is fairly unique in that regard, then that is a great laptop to use. I really enjoy it, I really like it. I just found that when I'm running analytics on a ton of symbols early in the trading day or even in the last few minutes of the trading day, when there's a lot of uh, uh, trading data coming through the machine, it heats up, you can hear the fans going, and the computer slows down, and you really notice the performance drop for those brief periods during the day. All right, so uh, just to summarize then, this is my main machine, two HD screens over there, two 4K screens behind me, that's all one machine. Second machine is here. I've got them on my stand-up desk. This is a motorized stand-up desk. I can vary how I move through the trading day by raising and lowering it, and I try to do it alternatively an hour at a time sitting or standing. I don't think you should do any one thing all, all day long. I've been trading for 30 years and although I'm pretty active, I still have some issues with my knees because I've sat for so long. So I went with this stand-up trading desk so that I can elevate myself and not be sitting in a chair all day. But I do vary it. I'll, I usually start the day sitting and then after about half an hour, I'll raise the desk up and stand and I'll oftentimes go for a little walk. The way I've got this system set up is it will ring alarms and things like that if I need to run back to the screen to check out something. So that's a quick overview of my trading system. I'll put some more information in the notes as well as a link to that um, how to buy a trading computer guide that you can download from Easy Trading Computers. I found it quite helpful when I was making my decision. And uh, you know, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I know that a lot of you know a lot more about computers than I do. And 
Uh, in my last video, I got some good insight into different things, and it's actually what helped me to change the video card to fix that problem. So I welcome your comments. I do try to answer most of them. Hope that this video has been insightful, and as I always like to say, trade well. Oh, 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 oh,